okay let's first create the you know uh, mysql database so we will use rds which is relational database service from amazon so you know you can uh, search rds and then you can click on create database you can choose a standard or easy create we will choose sand standard and then you have multiple choices for database uh, now we will choose the mysql and then whether you want production development or we will use the free tire you know instance we could give some identifier to it like yt demo like youtube demo and we need to give some username and password so we will remember it so we're going to use admin as a username and admin one two three as a password because we're going to you know uh, need it when we're going to programmatically connect right so let's remember that thing and then uh, you know there are some other configuration you know that you can go through one of the important thing is whether it should be publicly accessible or not yes we want it to be publicly accessible whether we want you know uh, create vpc so we can create the new vpc because you might not be having uh, the existing vpc it will have some security rule associated with for example you know which port is open you know uh, that kind of information or uh, when we say it can be publicly accessible you know which um, from which source you can access you could see that we have also saw the port name now let's uh, give some database name like so we, let's say we will create a database name called yt demo and we will remember it right because we're going to need that particular thing all other things we can keep it as a default and let's hit on a create database and that's going to take some time actually to you know uh, create this database instance so meanwhile what we will do you know uh, we will go to let's say chat gpt and we will take chat gpt help to write some python code you know so that we can connect to the uh, database so let's see what we could do so we are saying you know uh, write a code which can uh, you know we can use to connect to our database because we name it like yt dash demo and then we want to create the sample table and then insert update delete and select statement right so let chat GPT write code for each of them, right? Seems to be, you know, it wrote one function for create connection, then one function for creating table, similar functions for inserting record, updating record, and you could see uh, deleting record, then selecting record, you know, nothing but the displaying what we have and some main function where, you know, you can call all of these functions. So we're going to, you know, use this particular code and then we could modify it according to whatever our need, right? So let's uh, first thing that we want to install that MySQL connector. So we will install the MySQL connector and you could see it is still running. So we haven't created DB yet. It's still running. But meanwhile, you know, we could, you know, format our code. We can, you know, write those. So first thing, let's copy this, you know, first part, which, you know, gives us connection object. We need to update our details there. We need to update host, username and password. Username, password we have already stored. So we're going to update username and the corresponding password, right? And what about this host name? Let's see whether the DB got created, not yet. So once it get created, you will find some, you know, host URL or kind of address there. Let's keep those, our functions ready. This is related to the create table function, which has, you know, create table statement, where we are creating a table called sample. So let's see whether we could connect, you know, with our DB. And, you know, I have to interrupt because it was taking a lot of time. The issue with the connection, we are not able to connect with the DB. Let's try one more time. Still seems to be some issue. Let's go and, you know, check. Let's go to the security groups. As I told you, there are some rules we can edit, right? So we can see inbound rules and let's see. Yeah, you could see the port is there, but we could connect with the port from very specific, uh, you know, source. So let's remove that thing and make sure that we are able to connect from anywhere outside, right? Uh, once we have username password, we should be able to connect. So now we have updated this setting. Let's see now whether we are able to connect it from the Google Colab and we should be able to, let's stop it. And uh, once it stops, we will, you know, uh, try to run that connection function again. So it stopped. Let's run it again. And we could see now we got the, you know, connection object. Okay. Because we changed that setting. So this is also a common, you know, issue people face. So make sure you check your inbound rules, whether you are uh, allowed to access it from the, you know, uh, outside of whatever the VPC or the thing you are in, right? Now let's focus on the other function. Let's run the create table function and, uh, you know, let's run it. We, it just required the connection object 
and it is going to create sample table with the two columns like you know name and the age now next what we want to call this function called insert record right you see insert record take three things your connection object and the values for those two columns so let's run this insert record two time and we could see it inserted that record but how do we know whether it is inserted let's run the select statement right so we can use our select record function you know which is simply select star right and let's run this thing so you see we are simply using cursor dot execute and then you have a simple your you know sql query and you could see we have those two records which is already there right now let's update it you could see the update syntax we're going to set you know the name and age some value whatever the value this function is going to receive now let's call this update so we will call update on this you know the first record what we have so you know we could see that uh, we want to update this you know but here uh, we want to update where id is equal to 1 so we are modifying age from 30 we are making it to 31 right and you could see it is actually 31 because we have called select statement after that let's see whether we can delete the record again simple delete statement delete from that table name where id is equal to whatever the id we going to provide so let's provide the id of that that first uh, record right which is you know id is equal to let's say one and see whether it is really deleted or not we can again call our select record function which is has simple query right and you could see we could see only one of this record so we we see all of this statement right let's do one more thing right uh, what if we want to insert the multiple records let's try that thing again so i'm not writing any yeah, these are the simple thing why should i remember all syntax and all these things right we can take the gpt help and we can try things and if it gives some error then that's where the uh, you know things that we can debug actually right so let's uh, copy this code whatever you know uh, chat gpt has created and then we will modify it according to you know whatever our requirement first thing we require that function which is insert multiple record right so let's take that function insert multiple record function Let's run actually this thing, right? Multiple records thing. We will change the names of the, you know, those values because we have used those same values, right, earlier. And you could see, you know, we're going to insert using execute many. So I'm not going through the code actually much because you will have access to this particular notebook, right? We just want to see how we connect using Python and what is like to, you know, run those uh, functions and queries. You could see now we have all the five records, you know, sorry, uh, all the four records here because we had one earlier and then we inserted three more record, right? So you can go through this notebook, try, play around it and, you know, if you have any doubt, right? So here is our uh, another project called AI Demos where we create, you know, uh, the demos of AI tools. You can filter those AI demos using, let's say, image tools or the text tools. You could even filter using like, you know, whether it is image generation tool or whether it is, uh, you know, let's say the content generation tool and, you know, you can even go into more detail of that particular tool and if you go to the detail page you will find a demo which is like one or two minute demo which shows you know what is like to use that particular tool so this is nothing but the youtube video embedded here and you know if you play it in one or two minute it will show you what is like to use that particular tool so you can see right now if you find it interesting you can go and try that particular tool by visiting the website you can even go to simply YouTube channel and where, you know, all the demos you can find at one place, you know, you can play them and, you know, see whether you could use them in your daily life, right? That's what, right?